Hello everyone, this is Austin from Robless, and today we're going to talk about bone health, we're going to talk about iron absorption, calcium absorption, utilization, things that inhibit calcium and iron to work in your body. So a lot of people, when they think about like most, most nutrients like iron, calcium, um, different things, they think about, okay, what can I eat that has these things in it? Rather than addressing that we might have trouble absorbing these things from the foods we already eat, because the foods we already eat have these in small amounts. People say, oh, we need, like, oh, we need so much iron, we need, like, all this iron, like, so much, and it's, it's just not necessary. And I can say this from experience because I had my blood test done two years into a fruitarian diet, almost entirely fruit, not even much vegetables, living in Washington state, not even living in the tropics. And my iron was fine. You know, it was perfect. And my calcium was fine. Perfect. So... People who have this misconception about fruitarians having uh, weak bones, uh, bad bone density, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> so there's a few things that inhibit iron, okay? So the first thing is going to be caffeine. Caffeine blocks iron absorption. And it's just, it's a neurotoxin. It's, it's absolutely terrible. There's no reason. It also causes adrenal stress. Because when you drink caffeine, you stimulate the adrenaline, which is essentially what people are running off of. This is a different subject, but um, yeah, just, just completely avoid a caffeine, like get it out of your life. And same with cacao. You know, cacao is a neurotoxin as theobromine, very similar to caffeine. And um, this is going to block iron absorption and utilization of the body. So avoid those things if you can. And just doing that, you might notice that your iron levels are better. Okay, so this is, you know, especially if you're anemic. If you're anemic, vitamin C, get more vitamin C in your diet from fruits and vegetables. Most, a lot of fruits and vegetables are high in vitamin C. Oranges, papaya, uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, uh, bell peppers and, uh, you know, a lot of different ones. Uh, dragon fruit is amazing. A lot of vitamin C in there. So get that vitamin C in and it'll help you absorb the small amounts of iron that are already in the foods you eat. Okay. And now we, we can talk about calcium too, because some of these things are like interconnected. Now, when you have too much calcium in the body, it can actually leach iron. Or block iron. Block the iron utilization. Okay, so when you have high, high calcium foods, especially dairy, people think, oh, dairy's so good for your bones. They have all this propaganda out there from dairy companies. Is it really, though? Wouldn't it be crazy if it's actually the opposite and they've just been spewing that crap and they've just been repeating it for so many years that people are like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, calcium, oh, dairy, of course. Like, everybody knows that because they've been repeating it. They've been repeating the propaganda and now you think it's the truth because they've been saying it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. So be careful with the calcium. Don't supplement calcium. Okay, you don't, you don't need to do that. Just eat fruits, vegetables. A lot of fruits and vegetables have calcium. Oranges, prunes, figs, uh, papayas, high in calcium. Okay, and not high, high in calcium, but just enough calcium that your body needs. You don't need ridiculous amounts of calcium and iron. It's just not necessary. Okay, so... There's also phytates from nuts, grains, uh, seeds, oats, 
and uh, yeah. So those can ruin your calcium, your calcium absorption in the body. Okay, so lower, lower your nuts, grains, seeds, keep them low. Too much, too much phosphorus. Too much phosphorus is a, is a thing. So high phosphorus foods are going to limit your calcium. Okay. Now, of course, one of the biggest things, low vitamin D levels. Okay. Get your vitamin D. Get it from the sun if you can. Eat mushrooms. Get your mushrooms. Lay them in the sun. That's another way you can get vitamin D as well. Um, so yeah, just remember caffeine, once again, go back to caffeine, leaches calcium from your bones, leaches calcium from your bones. And another big thing, which I struggled with a lot, smoking, smoking leaches calcium from the bones too. Smoking is one of the worst things you could do for your bones. Absolutely. And it also stresses the kidneys. Now, what do the kidneys do? They absorb calcium. So we also have to take into account our kidney health. Smoking destroys the kidneys. High protein diets destroy the kidneys. Okay, so this is huge. This is huge. You gotta get your glands functioning properly. It doesn't matter how much calcium, how much cheese you eat. It doesn't matter how much dairy you chug down your gullet. It's not gonna help you at all. It's not gonna increase your calcium levels. It's not gonna help you absorb anything better. You gotta clean out the body. You gotta get on fruits, vegetables, a plant-based diet, low in processed foods. Okay, and then your body will start functioning properly. It's amazing. And you don't need excess amounts of these, uh, these things. So just to make sure to stay hydrated with fruits and vegetables, increase your kidney health. Um, you know, potassium is also huge when it comes to bone health. Um, and what fruit, what foods are highest in potassium? Fruits, vegetables, going back to fruits and vegetables again, strawberries, bananas, Tomatoes, papayas, pineapples, all the good stuff. Okay. So I just thought this was really interesting and I thought it would be a valuable topic to discuss. Um, if you guys need to learn more about this or anything, message me. Um, I have, offer one on one health coaching, uh, the link will be in my description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about next, what kind of health topic. Uh, I really enjoy doing these type of videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.